Welcome back to the Raiders Talk, guys. Before we get started, you know what we got to do. Smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're brand new. Hit those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG at Big C Got Game. Well, that makes two losses in a row for our Raiders going down to Detroit, giving them the first win of their season. 31-27 to was your final. Derek Carr had himself a terrible game again, but he threw for the most yards this season, man, 325 yards. He had one touchdown but did throw three interceptions, including the game winner for Detroit. Uh, I don't know where he was looking to throw that ball. He just It was just an overthrow. He had Waller wide open on the sideline. Just a bad read. He also got sacked five times in this game. On the ground, Josh Jacobs is back, man. 25 carries for 109 yards and a touchdown. He did get hurt in the first quarter, which slowed him down uh, for a little bit. But in the second half, he caught back on, uh, finished with another 100-yard game. Out wide, Darren Waller had a bounce-back game. Six catches for 126 yards and a tutty. Uh, J.J. Nelson gets the start this week. He had six catches for 96 yards. Hunter Renfro seeing more playing time, five catches for 55 yards. And Tyrell Williams had two catches for 35 yards. So we went with J.J. Nelson this week uh, because Ryan Grant got in trouble, decided he wanted to mouth off to the coach, so he got benched. On defense, rough day for the secondary. LaMarcus Joyner finished with nine tackles. Jonathan Abram actually had a great game, man. Five tackles, two interceptions, uh, one real close to the goal line uh, where he picked the ball off in the end zone. Uh, Carl Joseph had four tackles, Worley had four tackles, and Mullen had four tackles. You know it's a bad game when your secondary leads your team in tackles. And like I said before, shout out to Jonathan Abram. He had two interceptions, and Gary on Conley is having a breakout season. He got another interception in this game. So let's dig a little deeper into the stats, man. We actually outgained the Lions 397 to 372. Uh, the Lions outrushed us. We outthrew uh, the Lions 284 to 208. We had 22 first downs, uh, but what hurt us was the three turnovers uh, from Carr. So we put a bow on week nine, and we do have some upgrades to make. First off is strong safety Carl Joseph. He gets one skill point this week. Um, it says run support. All right, we're going to go with run support. It bumps him up to a 79 overall. Uh, he gets a boost everywhere. On acceleration, he gets a plus one, plus two awareness, plus one block shedding. Uh, plus two play rec and plus one press. And our slot wide receiver, Hunter Renfro, he gets an upgrade as well. And we are going to put it at, we're going to put it on slot, man. That's where he's best at. Uh, coming out of the slot, he's up to a 72 overall. He gets plus one catching traffic, plus two catching, and plus one short route running. Time to take a look at the weekly awards and Jonathan Abram. Shout out to him, man. The rookie gets uh, AFC Defensive Player of the Week. Five tackles, two interceptions, and one forced fumble. But look at the other side. Dar Darius Slay gets the NFC Defensive Player of the Week. Ten tackles, two interceptions against the Raiders. So we have some points to scout some players this week uh, coming up in the draft. I really want to look at quarterback again. Uh, here is Adrian Henry from UTEP. He has a strong arm. He's 6'5", 241. He fits our archetype. A-plus throw power, B-minus throw mid, and B-minus throw under pressure. Uh, Kerry Langley, uh, quarterback from Florida State, 6'6", 239. He's a fifth rounder. A-plus throw power, B-minus short, B-minus mid. Okay. Let's go down here to Kendrick Johnson, 6'4", 225 from Oregon State. He's another fifth rounder. Uh, A throw power, B throw mid, and B minus throw under pressure. Taking a look at the wideouts, here's Derek Godfrey from Delaware. He's 6'3", 198. He's a third rounder. Uh, nope, C plus catching. He's already off the list. <laughs> here's Zaire Pemberton from Fresno State, 6'1", 227. He's a third rounder. B spec catch. B minus release, C plus short running, route running. Ugh. How about Randy Cheek, six foot two oh four from Lafayette, third rounder. B deep route, B minus medium route, C plus short route. Ugh. These wide receivers are trash. Uh, let's look at Jacob Potts, six four two thirty two from UNLV, third rounder. B spec catch, C plus catching. Oh my god. 
and the schedule gets tougher. We are getting ready to take on the 7-2 and two Chargers. They're led by future Hall of Famer Phillip Rivers. He's thrown for 2,562 yards, 19 touchdowns, and six interceptions, man. This guy is balling. He is throwing for almost 285 yards per game. On the ground, Austin Eckler leads the team in rushing. He's got 128 carries, 500 yards, seven touchdowns. Shout out to Melvin Gordon. He's got 66 carries for 261 and two scores. And then you have Justin Jackson, 29 carries, 87 yards, two scores. Out wide, Travis Benjamin leads the team and catches with 47 for 512 yards and a score. Second on the team is Mike Williams, 43 catches, 496, three touchdowns. But the star of the wide receiving core is Keenan Allen, the six-year player from Cal. 42 grabs, 650 yards, seven touchdowns. And then you throw in Hunter Henry, 41 catches, 470 yards, and two scores. We are going to have our hands full again with this passing game. Uh, both All four of these guys can catch. They've got great route running. Our secondary is going to have to be on top of their game this week. On defense, the ageless one. Thomas Davis Sr. leads the team in tackles with 63. Followed by star corner Desmond King. He's got 52 tackles. Casey Hayward Jr. is third on the team with 50 tackles. And then the hard-hitting Derwin James. He's got 49 tackles on the season. This team does get after the quarterback. And that guy right there, Joey Bosa, leads the team with six sacks. Followed by his counterpart, Melvin Ingram the second. He's got four sacks on the season. Davis has two and a half. Jerry Tillery from Notre Dame, the rookie, he's got two and a half sacks on the season. And Adrian Phillips, the safety, has two sacks. In the interceptions department, Thomas Davis has three picks. So does Desmond King. Uh, Trevor Williams has two interceptions. James has one. Gilcrease has one. And Nuosu has one. So this is a stout defense, man. They are deep at all three levels. We're going to have to be careful with the pass rush. Uh, and we got to make sure we keep an eye on Derwin James because he will come down and lay the hat, and that'll be a fumble waiting to happen. So we did make some moves before the Lions game. We cut a wide receiver. Also, we let go of a, I think it was a linebacker, and we picked up another linebacker. This is Ulysses Gilbert the third. Uh, he's a rookie from Akron. He's got great speed, 88 speed, 90 acceleration, 81 tackles, 77 power. Uh, he's got 66 block shed. Uh, we needed some depth at middle linebacker, and I thought he was the best one that fit our scheme because of his speed and his ability to tackle. Now, we do have a decision to make. Luke Wilson is off injured reserve, uh, and I think we need to go ahead and cut him uh, because he is not going to see any playing time. He is uh, – Darren Waller has been playing great, so I think letting go of Luke Wilson would be the smart bet to do. Darren Waller's stats this season have been amazing, man. He's come on uh, starting for the first time, 44 catches, 700 yards, five touchdowns, man. Uh, I think he's going to have a he's going to get a big bump at the end of the season uh, in his overall, and I think he might get voted into the Pro Bowl. So that's going to wrap it up for this Raiders talk this week. We are welcoming the Chargers to the Black Hall. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're brand new. Don't forget to hit those links down in my description. Follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and IG at Big C Got Game. And you know what? Let me know what you guys think about this Raiders franchise so far. Are you guys enjoying it? Let me know down in the comments, man. We'll talk from the Black Hall as the Chargers come to town. Have a great day, guys. Two fingers in the air. Peace.